Police Commissioner Paul Roll is firing back at claims made in a recently released Canadian Broadcasting Corporation documentary on fashion mogul Peter Nygaard. Roll telling reporters on Tuesday that he does not believe the documentary that included allegations against Bahamian police officers has tarnished the force's image as he insisted that it is Nygaard who is under investigation and not the police. I have not seen the documentary and uh, I am extremely pleased with the men and women of the Royal Bahamas Police Force. None of those officers have been indicted and I don't have any complaint against any of them. And I believe that as Bahamians, we ought to respect the fact that these young men and women who give their lives to keep all of us safe are doing a tremendous job. That's Commissioner Roll responding to questions surrounding the CBC's Nygaard documentary and its impact on the Royal Bahamas police force. The documentary that aired last week alleges that police officers were paid to look the other way as Nygaard allegedly carried out sex crimes in the Bahamas. However, Roll cautioned Bahamians to focus on the facts. And I've spoken to the, the uh, persons from the CBC and I believe that the members of the Royal Bahamas Police Force are some of the best in the world. I don't, I don't know that the image or reputation of the Royal Bahamas Police Force is, is damaged. There are some allegations made against Peter Nygaard, and I think we should focus on that. Let us try and, and deal with that. Peter Nygaard is alleged to have molested a number of women. Those matters are being investigated. I don't hear the Royal Bahamas Police Force being investigated. Let's, let's stick with the facts. Claims that Nygaard paid bribes to police officers were among several allegations made against Bahamian authorities during the recent Canadian Broadcasting Corporation television special. But this is not the first time members of the RBPF have been accused of taking bribes in relation to the Nygaard case. Last year, National Security Minister Marvin Dame said police would launch an investigation following the filing of a class action lawsuit against Nygaard in New York last February which claims that Nygaard evaded exposure to his alleged sexual abuse in the Bahamas by bribing local officials. Asked how that investigation is going, Roll said this. You need to speak to Minister Dems. He said that you're conducting as Commissioner of Police. I said he made the comments and uh, speak to, you could get the update from him. As for Nygaard's legal issues, in December 2020, he was indicted in New York on multiple charges of sex trafficking, racketeering and other crimes. Prosecutors allege that he was involved in a decades-long pattern of criminal conduct involving at least dozens of victims in the United States, the Bahamas, and Canada, among other locations. Some of the alleged victims were minors. Nygaard has denied all the allegations against him on multiple occasions. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.